Hey guys, welcome to Formula Infinity. Before we move on to the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and enable the bell button to obtain regular updates in our channel. So let's move on to our video. And in this section of video, we are discussing input and output functions. Okay, now let's try to understand the question. The question states to write a code to get the input in the given format and print the output in the given format. So let's view the format first and thus we have to get three lines of input code and print the same in the input format. Let's initialize three variables a, b, c and a list type to get input code. We all know that, that the input code should be in the form of list of map of in, comma input dot split. As there are only input numbers mentioned above, we use the type int and this piece of code is followed by print statements of the operand inputs that is print star a and print star b and same for the c and let's check whether this yields a positive result there are several ways to get inputs for this piece of code yet we could stick with the basic and easiest way of getting the input Okay, all test cases has been passed. We are going to discuss another similar program in input and output operations because question number 6 also has the same programming paradigm as that of the question number 5. There is no much difference in the logic of the program and let's have the basic insight of the question number 6 for the time being. A is assigned to get an input of 2 integer value and B is assigned to get an integer type input of 3 value and C is set to obtain two input of integer values. Well, the number of input values doesn't matter in this type of print statement. As we have mentioned asterisk in the suffix of A and all the variables in the print statement, the number of integer values or all the integer values get separated due to the usage of function of split and gets executed to the space due to usage of asterisk symbol as suffix. So we are halfway through the course and let's meet with a new problem in the next video. Thank you.